What's up guys, David Truak here, and today I'm back with another unboxing. In this one, I'm going to be doing an unboxing from Kendama Israel. This is a Kendama that I actually won in Liad's giveaway that he hosted on Instagram. This was way back after MKO, October 30th, I think I won it. And yeah, it took a solid two months to get here. But that's not that surprising because it's from Israel, so... Other than that, let's just get right into this. Um, I'm probably going to keep this box forever because I've never got a package from Israel before, so that's absolutely, absolutely crazy. But let's open this up. It looks like a pretty small box. Um, it's got a lot of tape. Let's, let's jump right into this. So it does have some stickers in it. Um, let's start with those first. We got this Kanama Israel sticker. That's pretty sick. Never had a Dama from Kanama Israel, so I'm pretty hyped. Not really sure what this sticker is, but it looks pretty cool. That's pretty sick. We have this Kanama Israel sticker. That's actually a super nice one. I love that. With the Kanama in with like the skyscrapers and don't know what city this is. I'm guessing it's in Israel, but lots of stickers here. This is pretty sick. We got another one of those Kanama Israel stickers. Another one of the ones I don't know what it is. And then this one with the city. So, really hyped on that. And here we go. Let's just get straight into the Dama. Now, this uh, Kanama was a product that wasn't released yet when I won the giveaway. But obviously, like I said, it's been two months since I won that. So, I'm... I think it's been released now, but it's still pretty sick. Let's open this. I'm struggling. It's super tightly packed. There we go. We got it open. Ooh, this box is nice. I kind of destroyed it. So here's the Kanama. It's called the Damien, I think. Looks super sick. Yeah, let's open this up. Check out the Damien, I think it's called. Sticky paint, semi-sticky paint. So we got the string here. As you can see right there, we got the string. And here it is, my first Kendama Israel. This is pretty sick. Ooh, there's that nice design in the cup right there. That looks super sick in the big cup. Got this kind of Rasta design on the Tama. Looks pretty sick. Um, I'm guessing it's a maple Ken. Let's check the string length on this. Four fingers, I like it. Um, ooh, bevel looks super big. I'm super hyped to try this out because I've never tried out a Kanama Israel. And I will be doing some first impressions and first tricks, but I'm not filming in my normal setup right now. Usually I have that new studio that I got. Wait, I missed something. I missed something in the bottom here. I'll just interrupt. I was saying, ooh, I kind of ripped it. Yeah, I think I kind of ripped this, but it looks like it's I'm not really sure. Something. Looks like it'd be in like a magazine or something, but that looks cool, I guess. I ripped it, so that sucks, but yeah, I, like I said, I'm going to be doing first impressions and some tricks on it, but like I said, I can't film in my normal setup right now, so... It'll be a couple days before I can film in that, so a couple days from now I'll do the first tricks, but just looking at it, I really like how it looks. Super hyped to try out a Kanama Israel. And thanks to Liad for hosting the giveaway. This is the third giveaway that I've won, which is super surprising. I wasn't expecting to win that at all. But yeah, thanks to him for sending it out. I know it probably costed a lot to send it to Canada, but yeah, thanks to him. Don't even know if he's watching this, but yeah, that's going to do it for this unboxing. Thanks to Kanama Israel and Liad for sending this out. Can't wait to try out some tricks. And you know what? I'm not actually going to do the outro right now. I'm going to be back in a couple days when I do my first tricks, and then I'm going to give my first impressions on it. Alright, so I've played this Kanama for a whole day now. Um, I'm just going to give my initial thoughts on it. So, first off, I really like the paint on this Kanama. It's really good for lunars, inward lunars, lighthouses, just any balance trick. It seems really sticky right now. Hopefully, the paint does not wear off and the stick stays. 
Um, I find that with lots of Kamas that the paint wears off over time. So hopefully with this, it stays. Um, I know Kendama Israel isn't a super small company, so I was expecting a pretty high quality Kendama, and so far, it's lived up to my expectations. I really like the Maple Ken. I've always loved Maple Kens, so I love Maple. It's a really light Ken. Um, I love light Kens as well. Love the weight of it. The shape so far seems nice. I do wish the ring stall was a bit more defined. It seems kind of flat and it's really hard to balance a ring stall on it. Even though I don't do ring stalls that much, um, if I want to do them, it's not easy. So definitely I wish the ring stall was a bit more like defined and sharp. Um, I'm really liking this engraving in the big cup. I think that looks really cool. Lots of time put into that. So far it seems good for slingers. Um, any maple can I find is good for slingers. I personally don't like beach cans for slingers, but I love maple ones, so this is really good for slingers. Um, one other thing that I've noticed is that the bevel actually seems really big. Um, this definitely helps for stalls. Um, so the bevel seems really big. Like I said, that definitely helps for stalls as you can see. Um, other than that, I don't really notice much else. I haven't done much Thomas stall tricks, but I'm guessing they're going to be pretty good considering, considering the bevel is pretty big. Um, I'm trying to think if I have a complaint right now. Um, as of now, I don't have a complaint about this Kanama. I might form one as I play with it more. Um, hopefully, I don't, but I might. I pretty much do with every Kanama. No Kanama is really perfect, so we'll just have to see when I play it more. But so far, I'm liking it a lot. Um, I like the string length they hooked me up with. My personal opinion on the Dom, I would have rather had this white up here. I just like white better than black. That's not even a big deal, but that's what I would have done from a design standpoint. And actually, there is one problem with the paint here that I just noticed. On the red stripe, the paint is already chipped, and I haven't even played it that long. On the red stripe, it's already showing black, which is obviously what it would be painted as under the red. So the paint is chipped right there. Hopefully that doesn't continue, but so far, that's the only chip. Paint seems pretty nice other than that. So that's basically it for my first impressions. It's a really good Dama so far. Can't wait to jam this a little bit more. Definitely like the maple wood on it. And other than that, it just feels like a really high quality Dama. And yeah, that's it for these first impressions basically. I didn't really do much tricks, I'm just kind of jamming while I explain uh, the points of this Kanama. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to tell me down below. I will hopefully have more unboxings coming soon, and yeah, so make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.